better not take the type of dreams that they say. That's why I learned from my EA Sports coverage of the NFL is in Houston, in the Space City at NRG Stadium. The scene from a few moments ago, this crowd enthusiastically cheering on their Texans as they emerge from the locker room. And we're just about ready for football as the Texans get set to match up with Derek Carr and the Las Vegas Raiders. And we are underway from NRG Stadium in Houston. Takes this about five yards deep. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. The ball carrier. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Second and seven now from the 28. What's tight? Tight is right. What's tight? Tight is right. We got three. Watson to give. This is Johnson. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Nicholas Morrow on the tackle. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and four. to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. A shotgun snap for Watson. Complete, it's Johnson. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. For nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. From the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Watson. He gets this one to Johnson. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Johnson. I'm not sure that this play was designed for him specifically, but they got through the progressions and got the ball to him. So second catch on the drive. He may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Absolutely. This early, the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So if they can get him going to the passing game, that should open up his running game, too. On second down now, it's Johnson. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Third and inches, and they've got some extra beef up front. Three tight ends. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. A nice first down pickup on a gain of six. First and 10 now in Raider territory at the 45 yard line. Now it's Watson. Dancing to his left. Now he'll pull it down. And to the 36 yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. 
Now that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. 36 yard line. They're gonna run the jet sweep. It's Cobb with it. Room here to run. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They'll hand it off now, Johnson. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. Nick Kwiatkowski there on the tackle. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight at the 15-yard line. We're scoreless after one. Quarter with no score. Ready for the second quarter from Houston. It's the Texans in possession of the football as they've got a second and eight forthcoming. Throwing on second and eight. Watson, that's complete right around the eight. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. Complete to David. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. So play number 10 now coming. It's been a long opening drive, but this is third down. From the gun, here's Watson. Flush to his right. The Raider defense strong on that one in coverage, and now it's fourth. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're gonna go for it on fourth. They will indeed snap it to Watson. And my goodness, this is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And he's up past the 10 to about the 12. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. It's a gain of five. On oh, second down, it's Jacobs. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And a short pickup there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. Brandon Dunn on the tackle. Brandon Dunn in on the stop. Brings up Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Throwing on second and eight, Carr. He'll find his running back here, Richard. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. A five-yard pickup on the play. And it's third down. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. A gain of two yards on the play. Carr gives to Rashard. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. Pick up on the play. First down, Raiders. Throwing on first down is Carr. That's complete to Rashard, the running back. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. On first down, it's Jacobs. 
second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. And they'll get him down right about the 20. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense? The next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Second and eight, Carr to the sideline, and it's caught, but boy, he's out of bounds. And they tried to get him into space coming out of the backfield, but it'll be third down. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. There's a give to Richard, and he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. A good gain there on third and eight of seven yards, and now a decision here on fourth and one. But it's fourth down. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. And no field goal try here from the red zone. Offense out there. They'll go for it on four. They'll try and run for it. And he's not even going to come close to picking up the first. They stop him right at the line of scrimmage. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And this Texans defense stands tall. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Watson, he fakes to Johnson and now looks to throw. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Out of the gun, Watson. And the catch made by Johnson. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. They get 14 on that one. Good for a Houston first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Operating from the gun, Watson. And that one will fall incomplete. Intended for Darren Fell. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Throwing again is Watson. Down he goes, brought down a Raiders sack. Corey Littleton, it'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. Now the Raiders gonna go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Following the sack, it's now third and long for Watson and the Texans. From the gun, Watson lets it fly deep for Cobb. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. 
picked off by Trayvon Mullen. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. At their own 20-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Well, from the 32 now, here's first and 10. to throw his car. He'll let this go deep for Ruggs. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Henry Ruggs, the intended receiver, but it's gonna be second down. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and 10. Not wanting to take a chance this time, they'll keep it on the ground. And he's gonna be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So plenty of action on the field, but no action right now on the scoreboard, at least as of yet. Nothing, nothing is our score. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Kaimi Fairbairn to kick off for Houston. scoreless first half these teams now just looking for something as the second half gets underway and that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone so we will start here at the 25 set to get this drive started and we thought this game had the potential to be tight maybe not this tight scoreless as we start the third quarter and i love the way you use the word tight i'm going to take it a little bit different direction here because it's not just tight on the scoreboard i think both offenses have been tight in how they've played this game no one's been loose no one's been free they've got to find a way to make some plays and i don't think you do it if you're really tight in everything that you're doing in the game So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. A gain of five brings up second and... They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Any team that runs the toss and runs it successfully, that means they win the battle on the edges. That means you seal the edge in order to let your back get to the corner. They got it done there for a very nice game. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. No gain on the play. Second and 10 at the 41-yard line. Now they'll throw with Carr. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. On 
third down. Richard, and he can only manage to take the football to the 40, and that is well shy of the first down marker. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. And a tough ask here. They're going to go for it on fourth down and nine. They'll go for it. It's Carr. Got his connection complete to Ruggs. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. Josh Jacobs, the ball carrier. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. A run in the jet sweep with Jones. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. It's a gain of six. Moves him to a manageable third and two situation. And it's third. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through and picking up first downs. From the two, here's first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he fights his way into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Well, these two teams battled through a scoreless first half. Finally, a breakthrough here in quarter number three. And I just wonder how that played for both of them psychologically because when you battle through a scoreless first half, now you know that every possession is increasingly crucial. Who can put points on the board, make the other team chase? Wonder if you get a lift and if they get deflated a little bit. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Now this will make it into the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Texans take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now, they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. With Colin, no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. No gain on the play. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. And he is going to be taken down, and that should be the final play of this third quarter. Malik Collins able to put an end to that play and in so doing puts an end to this third quarter. Back now in Houston, it's Texans football, but they trail here as we get started in the fourth quarter. The Texans on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and 15. Back to throw, Watson. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. It's Eric Harris who picks it. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. Scoring has really been at a premium. And, Charles, you got to tip your cap to this defense coming in here. Their offense, too, but this whole team coming in here on the road, getting a hard-fought win. I think the way that they're finishing this one up, an exclamation point on a terrific game. As you noted, hard for them to put points on the board, and they hold them down one more time and finalize things. Oh, and now some space to operate. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Josh Jacobs, 31 yards. And a forced turnover on defense leads to six points. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, 
Yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit, but for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. So now Carr, he'll lead the Raiders up to go for two. They'll try and run it here. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. Raiders 15, Texans nothing. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And you're still in this game. I mean, yeah, you haven't scored. Offense obviously has struggled, but you're only two scores down, so all hope not lost. Not at all, because we're talking about the NFL and teams can score fast in this league. Quick strikes, you're right back in it. You're exactly right, keeping hope alive. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. And the Raiders have got him. It's the former number four overall pick, Cleland Furl, that got in there to bring him down. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. He was trying to get that one to Kenny Stills. Third down here. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. The Texans on third down, two for five to this point. This will be third and a mile. Operating from the gun, Watson. He's letting this one go for Fuller. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. This is caught, it's Cooks. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Brandon Cooks, 71 yards, and the Texans get a bit closer. The Texans will line up. For when you're trailing in the fourth quarter, you got to take some chances you might not normally take, and here, that one pays off big time. And it's intercepted at the goal line. It's Eric Harris who picks it. It's interesting that when it comes to two-point conversions, even heavy run teams tend to throw the ball in these situations. In this case, this one was intercepted. Yeah, they weren't fooled. They were ready for the pass, picked it off. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Bernard Drake and this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Pastor, you said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. Carr going to try and throw on third down. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked up by Gary and Conley. And they will set up shop at their own 41-yard line. 
The Texans take over first and 10 at their own 41-yard line. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. The interception was a great starting point, but now they need points pretty quickly, down two scores. After the interception, here's Watson. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Throwing again on second and 10, Watson. And that's complete to Cooks. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. First down, Watson. Open man, the tight end fouls. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. A, gain of a very solid gain of 27. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. First and 10 at the 15-yard line. From the red zone now, Watson rolling to his left. That is caught inside the five. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. It's Deshaun Watson with a touchdown pass to Brandon Cooks. And the Texans have cut it to within a score. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. It's Eric Harris who picks it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Texans 12. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. And they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. First and 10 at their own 35-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. A first down run with Jacobs won't get a whole lot. Maybe a yard, but that's about all. And it's second down. He was close to flirting with that sideline, but able to stay in bounds like you know his coach wants him to do and keep that clock moving. Isn't it funny that we're watching this play when we had that discussion just yesterday about this? What do you do in this scenario? What do you, you know, what's your mind? Mindset. It appeared to me that he'd totally forgotten that he needed to stay in bounds. And then the last second, oh no, I better, I better get down. And he ended up doing the right thing. But at that point, maybe close to let this slip away. Five yards on the play. And it's third down. They'll keep it on the ground. Richard. Now he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 55 seconds remaining in the football game. They'll run on first down. Jacobs. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A big gain there, and that should certainly be enough to put this one in the win column. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right? Just us against the world and get it done. <laughs> How happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. 
Car down to a knee, and that ought to just about do it. So this one, a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. And I tell you, this was a fun one, just a close game. Nothing comes easy in this league.